Twitter announced today that they're going to start putting warning labels on tweets by prominent politicians and world leaders if they violate Twitter rules for things like abusive behavior or harassment. But they're not going to be removing the tweets like they would with a normal Twitter user. So you're not allowed to uh, harass an individual. You're not allowed to make uh, disparaging remarks about a protected group based on gender, sexual orientation, or race, for example. You are not allowed to threaten violence against other people or these protected groups. So there have been calls on Twitter uh, since at least uh, since President Donald Trump has, was elected to remove him from Twitter or uh, at least remove some of his tweets that um, critics have considered to be abusive or um, inciting violence against various groups. Um, and Twitter has, while Twitter has never um, publicly commented on Trump specifically, they have long held that tweets by uh, prominent politicians uh, are of the public interest and they should be left up on the side even if they might violate Twitter rules. Um, the idea is that it's better for these, um, these tweets to be out in the open rather than behind closed doors. That was Twitter's argument. So this is basically a compromise. They're not removing them, but they are adding a warning label and they're making them less prominent on Twitter. This new rule goes into effect now, but it doesn't look like it's been applied to anyone yet. It's not retroactive, so anything that people tweeted before today won't be, won't be affected. Uh, it only applies to people who have at least 100,000 followers, and it only applies to politicians and or other elected officials or people who are candidates or maybe successors. Uh, it doesn't apply to celebrities, for example.